Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I want to start off by saying lately, uh, Amazon has frustrated me beyond belief. I've been ordering things and they send random stuff. Um, yeah, not sure what's going on there. I ordered a, a, a GoPro case that has like a, you know, the uh, external microphone little box thing at the bottom of it. And they sent me a C-clamp for, I don't know what. So I'm not sure what's going on. So I had to reorder that part. That's for the helmet setup that I'm doing. But um, yeah, so today might be the day. I know there's a few of you who've been waiting for this video. And once again, I'm supposed to be getting a delivery today from Amazon to finish this. So I'm not sure if this video is gonna take one day or two days because the stuff they send might not be what I actually receive. But uh, check this out. So we're gonna unbox this this morning so you can guys see what I came across on eBay. I won't have a link for it. Obviously, you're gonna have to do your own research on that because it was the only one available. But I will tell you that it took me a while to find it. So it is worth digging around on there. So let's get this thing on. All right, guys. I will say I got this entire setup off eBay for 120 bucks shipped. I was pretty excited to find it. Nobody else bought it, which was really odd to me because it seems like it'd be a really good part to have if you want to do some modifications on a newer Spark Pilot. Well, it's packaged really good. So what we have here is the OEM chamber and catalytic converter off of a 2019 Swart Pylon. So we've got the J-pipe uh, that comes out of the motor and attaches to this one, which in turn Oh, they included everything. Graphite gaskets and everything. Okay, sweet. Um, which in turn attaches to the catalytic converter, then the chamber, then this part attaches to the exhaust. Here's my thought process on this. Apparently Husqvarna had some complaints about people's legs getting too warm. Absolutely ridiculous. Cause now what they've done is they've taken uh, their original high flow exhaust, which was this one, and they've made this thing and they've crushed the pipe down to accommodate ground clearance. Absolutely ridiculous. I, I just can't believe that they would make something like that, I guess. I just kind of dumbfounded by it. So here's what my thought process is. We're gonna put the old style exhaust in there. However, when we do that, I'm gonna wrap it first uh, with some header wrap to run that through there. So anybody that wants to complain about, oh, my leg is too warm or whatnot, the main heat source coming from that is right here because everything else is normally warm anyway from the chamber. So um, I'm gonna wrap that J-pipe, we'll get that in there. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I can reattach the stock exhaust and I have two other pieces that are going to be here today at some point to attach um, an aftermarket uh, can and pipe. Um, the one thing I want to say about that is so much stuff is on back order right now that I just picked something that I thought would work that would look decent 
And if I don't like it or I want to change it around, it's super easy to just keep buying different slip-ons until I find one that I like. And they're cheap. So, um, yeah, waiting on something from uh, Custom Works or whatever it is for $500 is just, it's not me. I can't, I just can't do it. The stuff is in such high demand right now that you have to find a solution. And so I'm hoping that this is going to be it. But anyhow, let's... Um, start tearing the OEM exhaust apart, get all of that stuff cleared out, and then we'll start working on getting all of this stuff put back in. that there's another catalytic converter in there so there's two on this one
Okay guys, I did get those in, but there are a couple, if you're gonna do this modification to your 2022 uh, and go back to the 2019, which I believe was the last year that they made this design, um, obviously you're gonna have to find these parts first. If you're going with a uh, this reverse setup from 2019, uh, you're going to want to do a couple of these modifications. Um, there is a breather line here that has to be rerouted. I clipped this hose a little bit shorter and then brought it up. There is a something that this, I don't know what this does. It has to do with emissions though. Um, there are two hoses running into it. It's a solenoid of some sort and you have to run those and route those up higher. And I'll show you something that's on the factory uh, frame. It looks like they didn't change the frame design on the other side that will help you do that. Uh, your horn has to get pushed out a little bit. Um, what else did I have to move around? I think that was pretty much it. Um, and you definitely want to make sure that you have wrap on this because now you're routing it around hoses and lines and stuff like that so you, your catalytic converter will get pretty warm. I can understand why they changed the design but they could have just as easily put a heat shield on it somewhere and whatever. This exhaust should flow better than that one that's mashed down. Um, from the factory right here there is a zip tie mount. You're gonna use that zip tie mount to pull all your hoses up and away from that catalytic converter. You do not wanna leave your hoses laying against that. Even with header wrap on there, I wouldn't do it. Um, it'll probably take it, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So, now this opens up the bottom and I'll let you guys use your imagination as to what's coming up next in the series. Um, you will notice that this flange is different from the other chamber. So this, this chamber here has a, a flat style flange and the 2022 exhaust has this flat style flange. However, to use the older style flange, I believe all I'm gonna have to do is cut these tabs off because it will revert this back to an older style flange where you'll be able to use your clamp and put it on. It does push the exhaust back. So I did hold it up there. So um, you'll either have to add a bracket or whatever um, to use your original exhaust if you want to. It would just be a, a straight bracket. It's, it's off by about an inch to an inch and a half right here in this area. Um, but yeah, I believe it will work and I'm gonna go to the point of no return. I'm gonna try it. Um, we're still waiting for Amazon to get here to bring the other two pieces for this kit to finish this up. And then I'll show you once I get here. If you guys decide to install it like this, just about makes it, but not quite. Yeah, so you'll have to modify it. But the clamp should work. I'm just gonna wait for the other one to get here and we'll deal with it at that point. All right guys, Amazon just showed up with the delivery, but here's something I wanted to show you guys that I found. Um, looks kind of uh, weird, right? Well, it's a CNC machined piece of aluminum. I had to buy a longer bolt for it. This is 5 16 by three inch and it's grade eight. So you've got this piece here, and then you've got a polymer threaded piece 
uh, that's a high durometer and basically what it is is it's an exhaust slider but it's for a larger bike and I'm going to adapt it to work on the Swark Pylon. I will leave a link in the description for all of this stuff. This was less than 20 bucks. I believe it was 15 bucks shipped. Really nice piece, very surprising. Uh, that is nice like that. Anyhow, let's uh, get this package opened up and we'll see what we got. Here's our little mid-link pipe, stainless steel. It looks like it's TIG welded, probably by a robot, but it's really nice. There's no springs with it, that's odd. And then I ordered this. It's just a generic knockoff of some other popular exhaust. It might be like a Lee whatever. Anyhow. No springs with this one either, so. It does come with a silencer and a reducer. Oh, I guess it does come with springs. Okay, so I did get everything I needed. But it's 51 millimeter inlet. There's no words on it. I didn't want anything with words. So, uh, yeah, it's got a clamp. These things are so cheap on Amazon, you never know what you're gonna end up with, if it's just junk or whatnot. But this appears to be actually uh, pretty decent looking. So, um, let's see if this will fit. Just barely, just barely gonna fit on there. Anyhow, uh, I guess we should get this stuff installed. So we're gonna try this thing without the silencer first because I want a little more volume, but I don't want to be obnoxious, which is why I left the stock chamber and the stock catalytic converter in there. I definitely do not want obnoxious, so. Fingers crossed, it's not carried away. Hey, that actually fits really nice. I'm gonna leave that loose and then put the exhaust on. Yeah, I bought two bolts. This one's a half inch longer because I didn't know if that other one was going to reach and surprisingly it doesn't. Springs aren't tight enough. Hmm. It did come with some weld on ones. So maybe I'll weld on a Another one right below that one.
Well, I did get it together. One of my favorite things to do on a 95 degree day is TIG welding. Yeah, fun stuff. Um, the quality of this seems fine. I mean, the fitment was a little off because this is actually for a uh, Duke 390 KTM. That The exhaust on that probably mounts a little bit different, so that's probably what threw that off. But um, yeah, you guys have heard me start the quiet bike before on this channel, but uh, we're gonna start it up now and see if we got a little bit more volume. Oh, by the way, if you've never used header wrap before, This is gonna smoke like crazy when I start the bike. So if you get head of wrap and you wrap it and it starts smoking, that's normal. It's gonna do that for a little bit. And this black is gonna to change to like silver. So the color on them never stays. I've never had head of wrap stay the same color. It always eventually turns white uh, at some point, but just giving you guys a heads up. All right, here we go. baffle in it it's pretty loud and uh, bangy it uh, <laughs> uh, that's pretty impressive for still having the silencing chamber and the catalytic converter on it and here you go like I promised you're gonna get a smoke show from the header wrap no matter what so enjoy it while it lasts and then it'll be gone. And it stinks too, so that's normal. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably gonna have to put the baffle in it. That's uh, crazy loud. guys I took that exhaust slider off I'm I think I'm gonna use it for something else it just doesn't fit um, it looks way too big and awkward on the back but this exhaust looks really nice this whole setup looks really nice I had a bit of um, DEI heat sheath left so I went ahead and I rerouted that solenoid up a little bit higher and then I wrapped some of the lines with that sheath um, just to be on the safe side. I mean it's not getting too bad but I don't know how it's going to perform on the road and whatnot. So I just figured I'd add a little bit extra to it and uh, that provides a shield pretty much to everything in that area because all that aluminum just reflects all that heat back down. So. The other thing you could do too, if you don't want to wrap these, is create a um, heat shield. You could probably even buy one off eBay. Just look for a heat shield that has two hose clamps on it. Uh, I've seen them before, and it would strap into that area, and then that catalytic converter heat would stay on the lower part of the frame rather than the upper part of the frame. But I think I've been overly redundant here by running the the DEI sheath on there and um, moving everything up higher so yeah it looks a little bit more uh, I don't know what the word is Mad Max ish 
if you could think of it that way, I guess. But um, yeah, this took the majority of the day. Um, did a bunch of editing earlier, so I'm gonna go in and edit the rest of this footage. But um, yeah, it worked out. Once again, I'll leave links in the description. Uh, if this video was helpful to you, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, we'd love to have you as a subscriber. The next ride is probably going to be a little bit more exhilarating now that I can actually hear the motor running and it doesn't seem like it's an electric bike. But uh, yeah, other than that, uh, I hope you guys are staying safe, taking care of each other. And as always, I will catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.